about um, star players on star teams. Do they deserve special treatment? Who am I talking about exactly? The one and only Kawhi Leonard. There's a report floating around that some of his teammates on the LA Clippers, they're reportedly a little unhappy about the special privileges that Kawhi is getting, like living in San Diego while nobody else gets to do that, maybe even showing up late for team flights. Is there any situation where stars like this are fully entitled to these special privileges? Well, I would say star power is a part of our industry, especially in the athletic world. It, it happens, right? And sometimes it depends what star power looks like. So is it that a veteran who's been in the league for a long time, who's proven themselves, who's won championship, who's won MVPs, like Kawhi, who has that ability to kind of do as they please? When you get to the big boy leagues and you get into these professional leagues, you're not in college anymore. No one's looking out for your classes. No one's checking to see where you are, where you're accountable. They give you a time, be here for practice, be here for film, be here for the playing. And I can guarantee you, Kawhi Leonard, not the only NBA player who's ever late for flights or consistently late mm -hmm. for flights, but there's no real consequences. What do you get? You get a fine or they don't give you your per diem. To these guys, that doesn't mean anything. It just is what it is. So for me as an athlete, it's irritating, but I can't control what they do off the court. If he comes on the court and he plays and he gives me full effort, that's what I'm expecting because that's affecting my ability to get to a mm -hmm. championship. Absolutely, Kia. And where was all this energy when Kawhi was, you know, go, doing things very well on his terms, winning the Raptors a championship and helping them win their NBA championship, right? <laughs> Listen, there are some sacrifices. The biggest question for me that I would ask that locker room in L.A. is, do you want to win? Because if you want to win, guess what? There's some shedding of ego, okay? I'm sure if you look at the Lakers right now, ain't nobody complaining. We know LeBron demands a lot. I'm sure nobody had any problems with giving LeBron <laughs> exactly what he wanted because that team wants to win. So guess what? If you have a star player, you know, Kia, this is a coveted thing. It is so hard to win a championship without a star on your roster. And for me, if you're a teammate, it is by any means necessary. It's also about knowing yourselves. <laughs> like, I know in our group right here, Kia, if you and I are on the same team, you're the MVP, no doubt. So I'm going to give you the ball every single time. I'm also going <laughs> to give you the benefit of the doubt when it comes to you being late. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt when it comes to you drawing up plays. If you need me to grab your water, I'm going to get you your water because I just know myself. I'm a role player. And so I don't understand why the Patrick Beverly's and the Lou Williams of the world are upset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, we you see this a lot like in, in like film and TV as well as somebody who like, this is my first time being the lead of a show, right? Especially with transplant, but I've been like way down the call sheet for my entire career. And like, if I was in a position where like, there's somebody, if there's somebody like who has like legitimate star power, who's like on the show or on whatever, and they like have a bigger trailer than me are making more money than me can come and go as they please and stuff like that. Like it would be like, would it be just like, no, nah, man, like I've been acting for three years and Dennis Quaid gets to do whatever he wants. How come I'm not? You know what I mean? Like, I understand what I'm bringing to the table and the, and the show is relying on his performance or, or whoever's performance is there. I think so long as whoever the superstar is doesn't treat anybody else poorly, it's the organization's decision to treat them a certain way to keep them happy because they bring something very specific to the project, the team, the uh, you know? So like... If he's delivering on the court, which he did, can't say that about everybody on the Clippers this year, but he did that, you know what I mean? <laughs> and other people did get a similar star treatment and didn't perform well, and no one's talking anything about such and such person, you know what I mean? So, uh, so yeah. Uh, and if they won I the championship, oh my gosh, okay. no one would have talked about it. Like, it would have been no. whatever. Let me no tell you, this is true. Mattered. They lost. That's why it was mm -hmm. a big problem. That chip. But the only thing... Let me bring you back to the Raptors ask, championship because let me tell you, on that parade covering that, talking to the guys, and they're watching millions of fans celebrate their win with the Toronto Raptors, not one word of load management was, was mentioned. So there's that on that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The only thing mm -hmm. I'm going to throw in here is, as you said, Hamza, as long as someone is treating other people kindly as a result, like people work hard and harder 
for people and with people that they like. And so if someone is a star player, uh, and there is, I'm curious to know if there's a male equivalent for the word diva, because that may be the word that we might need here for someone maybe it's like Kawhi. I, I don't know. But <laughs> wouldn't his team, wouldn't his teammates work harder even that, okay, fine, he's a star player. I don't know. He seems like a quiet guy. That's kind of how we got to know Kawhi here in Toronto. And so the question is, you might also put a target on your back um, and you don't realize it if resentment starts to build and more morale on the team starts to get a little chipped away at. So I think that if you work hard, then you can sort of engender um, more cooperation. People work harder with you so that we all definitely can get that championship. 